but as a nonprofit, it's all 100% volunteer run. We have no paid staff. Um, we operate with a fairly small budget. Gardens and nature trails take a lot of effort. I think anybody would appreciate that for their own home garden and landscaping. So to be able to sustain this outdoor nature education program for the kids, um, which we all value tremendously, it takes volunteers. It takes volunteers that are going to not only help us maintain these spaces, but we need help on our nonprofit leadership board. We have committees, education and communication and fundraising. And without those people coming forward to help us lead um, and take on leadership roles, it's going to be very difficult to sustain this program into the future. Um, as I indicated, we're growing now and want to as a primary goal after we rebranded this April to build awareness of who we are and what we do and why we do it, um, to gain community support, um, not only of individuals, families, parents, but also of local businesses. And with that, draw in new people who value what we're doing and this concept of immersing kids in nature at a young age, nurturing minds in nature is what we're all about. Um, so we welcome you to come and join us. We've got a great diverse group of people. We've got kids that come out 12, 13, 14 years old to help us, but we also have people who are skilled uh, from business, whether they're working or retired, that come in to share their talents um, on our board or on our grant committee or on our communications group. Um, you can find us on lovelandlearninggarden.org. We have an Instagram page, also Loveland Learning Garden, and a Facebook page, Loveland Learning Garden. Um, so it should be able, you should find us through all those means. You can email us at info at lovelandlearninggarden.org. So we'd love to have you. We'd love to have groups come volunteer with us, um, but we need, we need help. So thanks so much, Cassie, for giving us this opportunity to spread the word.